this uh, problem here is the uh, fourth gate problem on the logic families out of uh, six problems considered. It is of year uh, 2007 and uh, of two marks. Uh, we'll uh, uh, read through the problem. The circuit diagram of a standard TTL NOT gate is shown in the figure. When VI is 2.5 volts, the modes of operation of the transistor will be there are four options given here A, B, C and D and uh, every option has uh, four uh, transistors Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 and uh, we have to find what is the mode of operation uh, of these uh, uh, transistors Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. We'll see the circuit right now. Here this circuit uh, consider is of uh, uh, TTL NOT gate and the mode uh, and the VI is 2.5 volts. That means the high input is applied to this NOT gate. So now we'll uh, see the circuit. The uh, circuit arrangement is as shown here. This is the circuit part. Okay. So this is the circuit uh, here, the transistor, this uh, Q1, this is Q2, this transistor is Q3 and this is the Q4 transistor. And uh, we have to find the modes of operation of this transistor for the case when VI is 2.5 volts. The, this circuit is a NOT gate, this is a ground here, the circuit is a NOT gate uh, that means when we apply high input to the input of uh, Q1, we will get a low output since it is an inverter or the NOT gate. Okay, so we have to keep, we have to keep this in mind. Uh, now we will see uh, from each transistor that uh, for this transistor Q1, uh, what is the state of emitter base junction? Emitter base junction, this is a emitter, this is a base, emitter base junction of this transistor is reverse biased. Why it is reverse biased? Because this is, emitter is more positive as compared to the base. So, uh, the other junction that is collector base junction, this junction is forward bias because this is positive with respect to the collector. So this collector base junction is forward biased and uh, this operation of a transistor where the emitter base junction is reverse bias and collector base junction is forward bias, this is the reverse active mode of the transistor. The normal active mode is the emitter base junction is forward bias and collector base junction is reverse biased. So this is a reverse active mode and the current will flow in the opposite direction. The normal current flow through this transistor is in this direction. But since it is uh, in the reverse active mode, the current will be flowing in this direction. The current flow here will saturate this transistor Q2. So Q2 will go into saturation and uh, this Q2, the emitter current uh, which is flowing through Q2 uh, will also saturate the Q3 transistor and this Q3 transistor should have been uh, saturated only because uh, it's a NOT gate input high so this should be low. So this is uh, what uh, uh, should be as per the NOT gate uh, operation. Okay, so this is uh, in situation, this transfer in situation. Now we can see here what this transfer here. So 
this voltage here because this transistor is in saturation this would be 0.7 and we see this QT is in saturation that we have already seen so this would be 0.1 here so this 0.7 VB plus 0.7 VC will make 0.8 volts here at uh, at the collector of Q2 and this collector of Q2 0.8 volts and here this voltage since it is saturated will be about 0.1 volt and nearly 0 volts so there will be uh, this diode will be forward bias and there will be a drop here of 0 0.7 volts here so this potential will be clamped to around 0 0.7 volts so this is 0 0.7 volt base is 0.8 the transfer will not conduct this transfer will be off so uh, what we observe is uh, Q1 is reverse active Q2 and Q3 are in saturation and Q4 is in the cutoff mode <coughs> <coughs> now we can uh, see this operation uh, what we have uh, uh, argued out here in the written form then VI is 2.5 volts a high so V0 should be low since it's a NOT gate interbase junction of Q1 is reverse biased so collector base junction is forward biased so it is a reverse active mode and uh, current to base of Q2 so it saturates Q2 and current from emitter of Q2 to Q3 so Q3, Q3 turns on so Q2 collector is 0.8 volts that we have seen earlier so it's not enough to turn on the Q4 transistor so Q4 will be in cutoff so the option B here is the right choice here we can see the option B uh, this is this is option B says that um, Q1 is in reverse active mode Q2 is in saturation Q3 is in saturation and Q4 is in cutoff so this is the uh, right option for this uh, problem. Thank you.